Welcome back, friends, to the third and final episode of our screencasting series on Slide, the GUI testing framework for Jaffa. I'm your host, Alex Oz, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about the third and final step in the GUI testing framework lifecycle, report generation. Uh, to start, we'll pull up Slide, and if everyone will remember from our last episode, we'd done a, a test run on the Amazing Suite. This is a, just a suite consisting of two tests, one of which is set up to fail every time. Um, one of the great things about Slide is that it's connected to a database. This means that you can have multiple testers who are running any series of tests and, and suites uh, concurrently, and all of the information on those runs is stored in that same database. So a manager can come in here and view information on uh, any test reports, any, any uh, test or suites that have been run in any time frame from any number of testers. In order to start, we go over here and click on the suite that we want to view some information on and go over to the Report Generation tab. Uh, quite easily, we pick a start date. Uh, for this, we'll just pick one of yesterday to today, the 22nd. It's really just as easy as seeing that Generate Report button, making it so. Uh, it saves it as a CSV file, which is comma-separated values, and nice and compatible in all different applications like Microsoft Excel or OpenOffice. Um, we'll pull it up right now, and we can examine what we can do here. Here's the sample suite report. We see the name of the suite that we're viewing information about, the name of the test, um, the number of times each test was, was run, and the different exceptions that were thrown during it. In this case, um, it was run a total of 11 times, and three of those times a assert false exception was thrown. Um, for the other test, uh, it was run 11 times, and we had one assert false exception and 10 component not found exceptions. So this just kind of gives you an overview of the number of exceptions that were run over a period of time. And you can use this for a lot of uh, development tools just to be able to kind of figure out where you're going in terms of fixing bugs and eliminating problems with your product. Another great feature of Slide is that we can uh, edit some of the metadata kind of on the fly here. And um, let's say we make a change to our script. We want to increment the version, so it just stores that in the database. We can do some changes like this and maybe um, screencasts can be lots of fun. We just save those changes right to the database. And if we had some other testers who were concurrently on the system, um, they would see those changes that we made. Well, this is kind of the slide GUI testing life cycle in a nutshell. And um, I guess from everyone here at the slide development team, I'm Alex Oz, and I want to wish you all happy sliding.